All right, so today I'm gonna to do a trail effect for my weapon. I got my sword right here. Brah, you can see it. And I have a few different variations. I have one down here. Boom, that is the default texture. So I didn't put any texture on it. And here I got my pipe. Yeah, and this is gonna be in my tools, animation, accessory playlist. I'll put the link in the description. Let's go ahead and start making some trail effects. So right here I have my empty base plate. I saved the game off as trail test and I'm gonna use an R6 sword. So I'm gonna to go to game settings. I'm gonna to go to avatar, R6. If you're following along exactly, you might wanna do this. And then hit yes, because I'm gonna put this link in the description to get the exact sword that I'm gonna use for the video. So you go ahead and put that in your browser and this will say get model, you press it, you're gonna get this sword and everything's gonna be the same. I also put a link to the streaks for the trail effect, but it kind of looks like it got moderated. I don't see anything there. So we we'll use streaks from the, uh, the toolbox, right? Just somebody else's. And I also, I'm gonna put a link to the trail effect documentation or the trail documentation. It gives you some example code. I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm just gonna get it up and running. So let's go ahead and get our sword. And I'm gonna go to toolbox, sword R6, swing. It warns us that there's two scripts. That's all right, we're gonna look at it. Hit okay. No, I'm not gonna put it in my starter pack. I wanna take a look at it. I gotta add some stuff to it. All right, so I got my sword there. Now remember, the animation I have on this sword is not gonna work under your account, but I did put the NM saves in there. So you can go to Avatar, and then we'll take a look at the Rig Builder. We're gonna do R6. Remember, everything's R6 right now. And, oh, I forgot which one I had the cool hair, the 12, right? Yeah, sweet. All right, let's get the select. We'll move him out a little bit. And I'll get the anim saves from the sword and then drag it into the rig. That way, so it's in the rig. That way when I do my animation editor, click on our rig again. Ah, uh, there we go. We got our swing and loaded up. I'm just gonna check to make sure that the animation priority is action. I'm gonna go to publish to Roblox. And then you'll get your sword R6 swing. Go ahead and hit submit. I might as well do it, right? And then you're gonna get this ID right here, hit those two boxes, close this, go to your swing anim R6, animation ID, control V, and now you should be able to swing it. We can go ahead and try it out. Let's try it out. Cool, and I'm R6. Remember, you have to be R6 to use the sword. Yes, all right, looks good. And if we go to our view, output, no errors. Let's put a trail effect on it. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go over to this sword. And the handle is the only real piece of the sword, right? That's the only part we have in our sword. So I'm gonna put two attachments on the handle. Hit the plus, attachment. And if we go ahead and click it, oh, you can see it right there. I will go ahead and do a control D to duplicate because we need two. Let's call this one ATT zero. And we might want to move that down here a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact. And then we'll do ATT one. We're going to move that maybe to the edge. This is gonna hold our trail. So the trail will be attached to the two attachments and then it'll whoosh, that way, right? Let's go to our handle, hit the plus, trail, cool. Now get your trail. Before we do any type of configuration, let's attach it. Oh man, I went right by him. Attachment zero, ATT zero. And you can see that's why I called it that, right? So attachment one, ATT1. Cool. Now we go ahead and pick this up. We're going to get the most basic trail effect. Not going to be quite what we want, but it gets you up and running, right? Look at that. 
And see, there's a lifetime on the trail effect. But we want to turn it on and off so that it only goes when we swing. Let's go ahead and stop this. And I'm going to take a look at my damage. See right here, damage. Let's open that up. So once again, sword R6 swing, damage, you got it right. Let's add a little bit of code. Let's get a variable for our trail. Let's call it trail. And we have our sword, right, which is the handle. Let's do a colon, wait for child, and we'll go ahead and get the trail. All right, now down here, this is where we do our event for the swing, right? It comes through. Uh, from the from the client side, I think right here I will do a trail dot enabled equals true, and I also want to change the lifetime of my trail, right? Trail dot lifetime, and I'm gonna make it kind of a short lifetime, maybe. Let's try a second. I think the default is two seconds. Lifetime, there it is, two seconds. All right, we'll make it like one second. And then when we're done our swing, let's disable the trail. All right, let's give it a shot. So we should turn our trail off as default. That's not bad, a little bit better. So now when you run, you're not gonna get the trail effect because it, it disables it once you swing once. So this is easy enough to fix. What I wanna do is I wanna go to my trail and I'm gonna disable it by hitting the enable check, turning it off. And then I wanna go to my damage and the Problem is, is this lifetime is just a little too long. We want the lifetime to be equal to the uh, swing animation. So let's go to our swing script, which is a local script. Let's open that up. And in here we have the track that we play, right? We have the activated, we have our track. Let's get the time of the track. And we're gonna send it over our damage RE, the remote event. It fires to the server, so we'll say track dot length. We're gonna come over to our damage, and then in here, when we capture the on server event, after the player, it's always gonna have a player because it's coming from the client, right? We're gonna do len. That's gonna be that length time we sent. It's gonna be the second, uh, the second argument in this parameter list right here. The second parameter in the parameter list. Let's go down to lifetime and let's make that len. And then for our weight, this is the, this is what turns the sword on and off for damage, but now we're also using it for the trail. We'll make that len too. Now let's see what we got. Looking good? Yeah, you got a simple trail effect. Let's just go ahead and put a decal on there, an image. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna go over to my toolbox and then I'll hit the marketplace. Let's look for like, ooh, look at that. Recently searched energy trail. Just in case I got moderated, right? We don't want, we don't want models, we want images. There, let's try this one. I can't remember which one I tried. I tried one of these three. All right, let's try this. Let's go to our trail, texture, control V, boom. And we'll pick it up. Sweet, that's pretty nice. That's not too bad. You can play around with that. There's a lot of other settings. You can look at the documentation, but we got you up and running right now. All right, I will see you in the next video. Good luck with your trail effects.